So as I'm slowly getting up right now, like I'm just wiping the crust out of my eyes, going to brush my teeth, getting ready. I'm just slowly, you know what I'm saying? I'm groggy, but I'm checking the phone, checking on little updates, people dropping memes, random Twitter beef, Manchester United fans waffling, the usual stuff, you know what I'm saying? Scroll through, Manchester United tweet, Manchester United tweet, talking about Chelsea, Mason Mount, Ornstein bomb about Timber, more Mason Mount. That, it was like, oh, wait, wait, what? Back up two steps. What? What's goody, everybody? is full-time trip back in the building. It's very early in the morning for me, but I do not care. I got to be at work anyways, but outside of that, we got to talk about it, man, because the, the news came in. The Ornstein Bomba just came in early, clocked in earlier than me this morning, and we got the confirmation here, man. Jurian Timber is on his way to Arsenal from Ajax. 40 million plus five in, in I'm about to say, add-ons, bonuses, whatever, whatever, what have you, but... We expect uh, a medical to be done at some point this week per David Ornstein, per The Athletic, per multiple sources, team news and ticks. You know what I'm saying? My boy was confirmed. He said stuff was locked in, so I believe him. It's locked in. So we got to talk about it, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. But somebody who I thought wasn't even a realistic addition. I didn't think he was on our radar. I'll be real with y'all. I was thinking, again, first Nada. I was thinking... And people, you know, people who are a bit more prospecty. And again, to a certain extent, Jurian is a little bit less prospecty. He's still young, of course. He's still growing. Uh, you know, he's had, you know, again, progressing seasons. He's only 22 years old. I just didn't think that he'd be in that conversation with. I, I didn't think he would be there. But the swiftness that Arsenal moved to get this thing locked in. And I'll be real. People were saying like, oh, we need 50, 60 million. You know, saying some Ajax fans like, we need 50, 60 million. The fact that we got him for 40 flat, 40 flat plus some add-ons is fantastic business to me. I think anything over 50 would have been a little bit too much. Again, somewhere in that, like, L Lissandro Martinez range that we were willing to pay, probably scale that back a little bit because, you know, maybe he's a bit younger, he's a bit, you know, still needs some, uh, some, some molding, some work, just a, a little bit in my opinion, but what a player. What a player. Honestly, I'm from, from everything I've been seeing, everything I've been watching, like, he's, he's versatile. He's very, very, very comfortable on the ball, which makes it really, really good for, again, him to advance into midfield. Uh, again, just not really, really good vision, just really good mobility about him. I think he brings a lot of a, a lot of variety to that right-hand side. I, You know, whether it be right center back or right back fullback inverting, I don't know what it is exactly. I don't know what the dynamics are going to be, but it seems to be a, a pretty common thread that the past few signings, again, by dating back to last summer, you know, are gonna have multiple functions. That's that's where that's where I you know just my mind automatically uh, just wanders to. We don't have any automatic you know hard set. This is your position for these last few signings. Arteta, Edu, the whole team, they're backing the versatility. They're trying to back the level of malleability of the squad. Being able to you know again just contort and twist their application uh, the application of how they play into different positions and i think that's going to serve us in the long run I, that's really going to serve us in the long run wrong long run having again this many uh people that are available in different you know different areas so if one drops one other fills in without dropping the quality and that's the important thing dropping the quality i've heard a lot of good things about Adrian timber and one thing is that again he he wasn't far he wasn't too far off Lissandro martinez when they were at ix together and again he had a breakout season uh i think a couple seasons ago i think 21 22 people said that was his like or his like his upper season didn't have the greatest output last season but still he's, he's young he's got a lot of time to learn and this is what we need this is what we need in in a in a period of time last season where right center back was something that we really needed quality in when some people went down and we only had rob holding to you know again kind of secure that down tummy also wasn't available either we needed something like this to slot in right center back to, to you know potentially help out and having that availability the quality and depth arteta's making sure he don't make that same mistake twice bro fool me once you know what i'm saying shame on me you know what I'm like he's not He's not messing around with this depth, you know, this depth conversation, the depth problem at Arsenal. He's making sure this is is taken care of. It's covered. And when you think about it, across the whole back line, like it's it's, it's let me read it down because I had it right here. You have you have Ben White. You know, Ben White can play right back, can play center back. Tommy also can play left back, left center back, right center back, and right back. Saliba plays center back, but again, he can you know bomb forward and and make really 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 good passes just 
really, really secure in his passing range. So he can advance a little bit up further, but still mainly a center back. Uh, Gabriel, uh, again, I think he I think he has capacity to play left back, but again, he's more he's mostly the left center back. Advancing a little bit more than Saliba, but still having that range of motion to actually go out and feel comfortable in other areas. Uh, Kibior, sent left center back and left back. Zinchenko, left back and just plays DM or, or winger or... My, my man's playing striker at some times, you know what I'm saying? He all over the place. That's a whole nother conversation. Uh, Tierney, again, primarily left back, left winger. If you want to see it, he just bombs up the, uh, you know, makes bombing runs up and down. And of course, Jerry and Timber, who can play right back and invert and who can, who can play right center back. But it's just the thought of variety. It's just the thought of quality and depth and being versatile. And that's a, a hallmark of a hallmark of this entire squad looking like it's a hallmark of this entire squad i can't wait to see it i can't wait to see where timber want you know wants to play how arteta puts him in certain positions what's going to be the play because i have no idea we, he can he, this is this is kind of like this is not in the same you know stratosphere but this is like a right situation where does he play the six does he play the eight we don't know exactly we don't know like again ben white served us just fine last season for a lot of different instances Libra served is just fine for a lot of different seasons. Is he coming in to be more of a depth option at center back or to really fight? I mean, he's going to fight for his place anyways, but there's more of a realistic conversation of whether he's going to fight for right back and, and, you know, be able to support Saka, invert, do his thing, flip the dynamics. Is that more of a thing? Only time will tell. I am, I am, depending on how we move in the market, there's still, I saw links to like a couple other right backs like Jeremy Frimpong and stuff like that. I'm not sure what it's going to be. In any case, we signed a quality player. That's solid. That's solid money. Like, I feel good about it. But let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. How do you feel about Jerry and Timber? How do you feel about the our defensive out, outfit right now? Where do you see him playing? What do you think Arteta got cooking up here? You know what I'm saying? Outside of the motivational speeches on one side and, you know what I'm saying, winning your duels on the other side of his brain. What do y'all think he's up to? What do you think we're going to see? And yeah, just let me know how you feel in the comment section below. And with that being said, that's all I got for this video today. But don't trip. I assume <laughs> there might be a couple more things we're going to talk about in terms of transfers before preseason really gets underway and the season hits us just before you know it on August 12th. So that being said, that is all. But don't trip. Catch you in the next one. Yo, YG.